ファミリーコンピューターに夢の大冒険ゲーム「スーパーマリオブラザーズ」秘密の力で大きく変身。The original Super Mario Brothers is the best video game of all time. Hear me out. It's the perfect balance of simplicity in that there's only two buttons and a directional pad. You can figure out what all the buttons do within the very first encounter. The levels are designed to teach you as well as challenge you. Every single asset has a purpose. There is nothing that seemingly comes out of nowhere. If you die, it's because you didn't learn from your previous mistakes. And even when you think you've mastered it, there is still more to explore. Try to beat it without warp zones. Try to beat it faster. The world record is still being broken. The current world record was just recorded three months ago. People are still discovering new ways to play this game. Now, imagine, if you will, taking a game that is so widely known in popular culture with simple mechanics that have been finely tuned over three decades and opening it up to the world so anyone can make levels and upload them. You're taking possibly the greatest video game of all time and giving it unlimited levels. That's the short reason why the original Mario Maker was such a big deal to me. But now, Nintendo just announced that we're getting Super Mario Maker 2 on the Switch, and before I hyperventilate, I'm going to tell you why it's such a big deal, why it's going to be amazing, and how it's going to deliver so much more than what the original ever could have hoped to achieve. Uh oh. Oh! Ow! Ow! Yo! Yeah! There you go! Immediately! Yes! Immediately! Immediately! Slopes! <laughs> If you've ever been around for any of the gameplay streams here on this channel, then you already know that I'm very fond of this game. And I also think this is a perfect opportunity to pull AJ out of the streaming sidecar and put him in an actual video for once because he's been around for every single one of my Mario Maker streams. I have, and I can attest that Bob hasn't died a single time. Not once. Not a one time. Never happened. Nope. When the first Mario Maker was announced, I originally thought that I would have the most fun making levels. Don't get me wrong, making levels is great. It's really fun to make something and see your friends struggle through it, then tweak it around a bit and give them another go at it. But creating things is time consuming, so I spent most of my time with Mario Maker 1 just playing through the millions of levels that other people created. Look, they're not all winners, but a vast majority of them are really fun, unique, and creative levels that we never would have gotten in an official Mario game. Users found ways to make levels with puzzles, shooter levels, Levels with all different types of mechanics, birthed from the seemingly simplistic Mario mechanics. Nintendo did a really good job of gauging the difficulty of each level, too. For the most part, if you stay away from Super Expert, you won't get pounded by troll levels or levels that require perfectly timed item jumps to progress. And if one of these levels slips through the algorithm, just skip it. It's not a big deal. Super Mario Maker takes a seemingly one dimensional game and gives it limitless depth. There's a reason why this might just be my favorite game of all time. It's absolutely tragic that not a lot of people got to experience it. The original game is actually a pretty interesting thing to dive into if you're an analyst type, due to the fact that the Wii U's low install base isn't a great sample size for most Mario games, all of which tend to easily crest 10 million units sold on a bad day, and in a perfect world with a 2D Mario game, significantly more than that. Mario Maker, despite seeming like an easy softball, you know, the game that you can make the game that always sells like hotcakes, ended up suffering massively due to its lot in life. And it's surprisingly not just Wii U's fault. The 3DS version of the game sucks and squandered at least half of the game's potential by limiting sharing levels to local play. However, Mario Maker 2 is in a much better situation thanks to the Nintendo Switch due to the fact that it has quite a few key advantages over the Wii U and 3DS version. First and foremost, the Switch is on track to have at least tripled the Wii U's install base by the time Mario Maker 2 is released. Second, it doesn't share the 3DS's problem of having severely limited hardware specs. And lastly, it's an entirely new game rather than a port, so people won't feel the leftover scraps feel that I feel was prevalent with. 
the release of the 3DS version. And that's not even acknowledging the real possibility of the original game's cult classic status influencing future purchases of Mario Maker 2. If I had to guess, I would say that Mario Maker 2 is going to hit that 10 million mark within its first 12 months. When we zoom out into the long term, I think it's a real possibility that this game will significantly exceed that especially when you consider the fact that 2D Mario games tend to be able to sell astronomical numbers, 30 million units type numbers on vibrant platforms. My favorite thing about Super Mario Maker 2 is that it's more of the same game and that it's on the Switch. I would have been more than happy with just a direct port of the same game, to be completely honest with you. Just to have it on Nintendo's newest console, to have a more active community would be great. Now that it's coming to the Switch, more people will have the opportunity to play this game and create more levels. The more people involved in the creator community, the more innovation we'll see in level creations. Obviously, getting a whole sequel is also very nice. We're getting a whole ton of new level assets, like the Angry Sun from Mario 3. I think my favorite addition and what will change the game dramatically are the on-off switches. Mario Maker level creators currently use coins and P-blocks to block off certain paths. They can also use keys and doorways, but these don't grant you instant access, and those don't allow items and enemies to pass through automatically either. An on-off switch will instantly let you or whatever assets the creator wants pass through. This is an asset from Super Mario World, but hopefully we see it in more game types than just Super Mario World. But what about slopes, Bob? Think of the possibilities. I personally believe that Nintendo has demonstrated their true level designing chops with the intro to the reveal trailer for this game. True mastery, Bob. But no, on a serious note, I honestly believe that adding slopes adds to the ability to create truly fluid levels. When used in the perfect places, which admittedly most people playing this game and creating levels won't do, they serve as perfect commas to the metaphorical sentence that is a Mario level. Also, it's hard to argue that the game feel aspect of sliding down slopes as a means to defeat enemies is in top tier levels of gamer gasm. Speaking of game types, did AJ say anything about game types? Well, speaking of game types, what the hell is Super Mario 3D World doing here? I would have expected a Super Mario Land game type or some sort of Game Boy skin, but never a Super Mario 3D World game type. What makes it different from the new Super Mario Brothers game type? Is it just the assets? It can't be the physics because in the previous Mario Maker, every game type had the same physics. Maybe there are different kinds of jumps, like how in New Super Mario Brothers you can do the triple jump? Maybe the 3D World game type will include the backward somersault? I think they more than likely made 3D World its own game type just so they had more room for all of its unique assets, like the clear warp pipes, the bell tree, the cat suit, etc. One really exciting addition that they didn't really touch on is multiplayer. I don't know what else this icon could possibly be. It's a red and green guy sitting next to each other, and I only know one red and green duo. Not to mention, the promotional art has Luigi on it this time. So Luigi has to be in the game, right? In Super Mario 3D World, Luigi has different jumping physics. So does this mean you'll get to play levels as any character you want? Will levels be limited to just the characters the level creator was able to beat the level with? If you want your level to be playable with every character, will you have to beat it multiple times with each character? Otherwise, there might be jumps that only Luigi can hit. Will you only be able to play those levels with Luigi? And what about other characters? The promotional art shows two toads, one donning a pink cat suit that looks like Peach's. That's Peach's cat suit. Is Toadette replacing Peach again? And what the hell is this guy doing? Also, is the multiplayer competitive or cooperative? I'd love to see the on-off switches work similarly to the colored blocks in the versus mode of Super Mario Deluxe for the Game Boy Color. Also, does this mean we'll be able to pick new objectives that are more nuanced than just reach the end of the level? Is that what these options mean? Could a level be completed by just collecting a certain amount of coins? Could it be an optional objective? There are so many possibilities with this new edition of this game. 
Every seemingly small addition is potentially hundreds and thousands of new level ideas. Have I succeeded in getting you excited about this game yet? Look, some people's favorite game of all time is Ocarina of Time, which, okay, yeah, whatever. But imagine a game where you're able to play an unlimited amount of dungeons within that world. If you're a Zelda fan, doesn't that excite you just a little bit? Now, can you relate to my excitement? Honestly, Endless Ocarina of Time sounds like hell to me. I'm happy with everything that we've seen so far from that minute and a half long trailer, 30 seconds of which was just slopes. I just hope that there's a more detailed way to rate levels so that if there's a troll level, you can warn other people that this is a troll level. And I also think it'd be really great to be able to queue up levels while your Switch is on the dock connected to the internet so that when you disconnect it from the internet and take it outside, you have a whole queue of new levels that you've never played before for your 100 Mario challenge. And maybe some new challenges. The 100 Mario challenge is awesome, but since this is a sequel, I would expect Nintendo to create one or two new challenges for us. Well, Bob, they already gave a slope, so I can't fill up their plate with too much more hopes and dreams for additional features. I do, however, have two simple, humble requests should they find the time to fulfill them. The first of which would be making, well, making levels more gamified. Players already get the 100 Mario challenge, so I think it would be smart to add some sort of challenge for creators as well. It could even be formatted in a way that loosely tutorializes the process of making a level. Teach the makers that would be playing this mode sound game designing principles to make actually good levels. The second thing I would like to see in this game is some sort of online multiplayer. I want to play this game with Bob. Don't keep us apart, Nintendo. Make the right decision. I didn't even consider that the multiplayer might not be online. Oh my God. June is way sooner than I ever would have expected a game like this to come out. That's just five months from announcement to release. I'm super happy that it's finally coming to the Switch. I'm super happy that it's more than just a sequel. I'm super happy that it's multiplayer, so now I can finally be better than AJ at something on stream. And I'm super happy that I can take the game with me wherever I want to practice my item jumps and spend time building the perfect levels without the garbage 3DS port. And if they can screw that up, then there's plenty of time for them to screw up Super Mario Maker 2 for the Switch, but I remain optimistic. It's going to be great. I'm sure it's gonna require Nintendo Switch Online if you wanna be able to play other people's levels, so if you need a reason to hate it, then you can use that, I guess. But I'm sure it'll also come with a bunch of levels preloaded onto it, just like the Wii U version and 3DS versions did. Anyway, what do you guys think about Super Mario Maker 2? Were you as excited about that announcement as I was? I was very excited. I don't think I've been this excited about a video game announcement ever ever i've never been this excited anyway what else do you want to see in a super mario maker 2 is there anything in the trailer that you caught with your eyeballs that excites you leave it in the comments below at me on twitter any and all of this other social media garbage hey thanks aj for being here and thanks for taking the bulk of the conversation about slopes so i can stop feeling so bad about saying a racial slur it's all in a day's work bob and that work isn't even done because we did even more work on my channel, youtube.com slash fanatics4. If you guys want another video to watch right now, why don't you head over to the card up here? We talked about Link's Awakening. Also, I have social media garbage too. You can follow me there. Anyway, we got new videos and live streams all the time. Our schedule is in a pinned tweet over on our Twitter. We got live streams on twitch.tv slash wolfden, which I will be playing Mario Maker tonight after I post this video. So. Hit that little follow button and get notifications when I go live. Also, me and AJ always stream every single Sunday here on YouTube. So put notifications here on our YouTube channel so that you know when we do that every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine because there's also Wolf Den Apparel if you want a physical item for your money. Look at this. How could you, how could you not here with this going on over here, okay? But you can keep your money because the most important thing that you could do for us is just subscribe. It's free, it's easy and share this video with a friend, a friend that you would love to play Mario Maker 2 with, someone you wanna make levels for to rage them out, or someone you just wanna play levels with. Thank you guys very much. You have yourself a very good day.